We want to bring in our safety experts. Today's Weather Red segment with Brad Kaiserman uh, joining us from Fairfax, Virginia. Brad, thank you so much. You are Vice President of Disaster Operations for the American Red Cross, so we appreciate your time today. Uh, let's start with the 70-mile uh, stretch of land between Oregon uh, and down to South Carolina, the path of totality. So many people are going to be moving into that zone. What are some of your tips, your suggestions on how to do that safely? Because you're with a lot of people. Absolutely. And good morning, Maria. Thanks for having us. I mean, I think the first thing for people to remember is this is an historic event. It's exciting. It should be positive. All of this emergency management preparation that you see going on is about your safety. So that doesn't mean a bad thing is going to happen. Things that people can do to contribute to make sure that they have a safer, better, happier experience. Be patient. There's going to be a lot of crowds. There's going to be a lot of traffic uh, in some places for better or for worse. It might be cloudy. Just be patient. Be kind to the person next to you. And I think if people work that way together, that's that's going to really help uh, reduce uh, any sort of tension and friction just from large crowds gathering. And then there are these other things, things like, you know, make sure you're ready. Uh, you have a full tank of gas. Uh, make sure you've got bottled water in your car. Uh, have some snacks that you can eat. Uh, have some chargers for your cell phone. Be prepared that your cell phone may not work. Might not hurt to to carry backup chargers, backup cell phones, and uh, have a plan and a communications plan with your loved ones. So if they don't hear from you, they're not automatically worried that something's wrong because the cell phone uh, networks could in fact be overloaded. So it's just some common sense preparations like that. And of course, as you said earlier, uh, don't look at this, the sun and the moon with a, a naked eye. Use those eclipse glasses to make sure that you have a healthy experience. All right. And with that said, I have mine. Mine are all properly certified and are Weather Channel glasses. But I've been looking at the Internet. There are so many counterfeits. How do you tell which ones are the fakes, really? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, as, as, uh, as first responders and law enforcement, uh, emergency managers are out uh, in the areas where people are gathering. You can always ask a firefighter or a police officer or an official to take a look and uh, many of them will have a list, uh, and they'll also have some indicators of which ones are fraudulent. Uh, the other thing you can do is make sure you buy from a reputable source, like getting it from the Weather Channel uh, or uh, from other reputable sources. And I think that's the key. If somebody hands you a set of glasses and says, here, these are okay, and you don't know where they come from, and they don't come from a reputable source, you probably should question those and make sure you're getting something from uh, either from government or from a, a reputable commercial source. And uh, I love this, that uh, you're here to help no matter what, and an eclipse is no difference with uh, good tips, I'm sure, via the Red Cross. Uh, Brad Kaiserman, thank you so much for taking time with us. And remember, you can always visit the Red Cross's website to help uh, donate or learn more information.